so the identity that I, was, that I chose was urban versus rural upbringing. Um, and I chose this because I come from a really big city, um, just around Seattle. So coming here was really interesting for me. Um, so I thought this was something that since I could kind of connect to coming from such a big city and kind of downsizing, um, it made it a little easier for me to, I guess, talk about it. Um, so one of the first things I had researched was like outdoor activity participation among children, um, meaning like, I guess, kids outside of big cities so rural areas are more likely to do like fishing, swimming, hunting, things like along those lines, while kids that are in like big urban cities are more likely to play sports. So football, basketball, soccer, those kind of things. Um, and this wasn't really surprising for me. I think that's kind of a big stereotype is like people born in rural areas like to hunt. Um, and statistically, they're actually better at it. So I think it's kind of just a natural born, like when you're born into a rural area where it's not necessarily less developed, but that's kind of like the culture for that area. Um, that's what you're more likely to grow up doing. So physicality. This was something really interesting for me because coming from a big city, I feel I kind of assumed like off the bat that um, people with more money because they can afford more food would be more likely to be obese. Um, but this was like the opposite and it really weirded me out. So among rural communities, obesity is actually at a higher rate, which I guess made sense in the end because rural communities tend to be lower class, like lower uh, economic status. Um, and so they're affording more things that are, you know, uh, shelf stable, more snacks and less like fresh produce unless they're like an, in an agricultural area. Um, so I guess it did add up eventually, but I think the common stereotype is like the more money you have, the more food you can buy. And so I kind of assumed from that 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 would mean that like inner city kids are more likely to be overweight. And then intelligence, I think there's like a very common stereotype also with intelligence that kids from rural areas are less intelligent and this wasn't exactly the case. Um, in the study that I researched, the answers the kids were giving were very similar, but the way that the urban, like the kids from urban areas were elaborating more on these answers. So they were getting higher IQ, IQ scores. I think it was like about a 5% difference between rural and urban areas. Um, and the reason why was just because the kids from the rural areas were giving good responses, they were answering correctly, but they weren't elaborating on the ideas and they were getting kind of, they're just kind of giving the basics, whereas the kids from the urban areas were giving more logistics, more statistics, more details into, into their answers, um, which in turn, they had a high, higher IQ score. Um, and then this was also something that really surprised me was behavior issues. So one of my articles was about behavior in children from rural and urban areas in school and then at home. Um, and the biggest thing I found was that the kids from urban areas were more likely to have issues at home um, because they respect, I think this is something I grew up around, but I've noticed this myself is like, kids where I'm from tend to respect people that are in public, like teachers or you know people at grocery stores or people at restaurants more because they're taught you know to respect other people. but. I've also noticed that those kids who respect people outside of their homes are the kids that go home and cuss at their parents. And that was kind of, you know, that was something that I grew up around, so I was kind of already aware of this. But for rural areas, it was actually the opposite. So rural areas, um, the kids tended to be more willing to respect their parents and less willing to respect people that they weren't as comfortable with. So anywhere from teachers, um, this study showed in school, but anywhere from teachers to even other kids at school, they would, they were more likely to be aggressive with other kids, they were more likely to rough house with those kids. Um, and that kind of goes along with this. So there is a study done, uh, which is what I based this off of, which was about boys and girls separately, and then rural areas and urban areas. And it showed that, one, that boys from rural areas were the most likely to rough house and be aggressive with other boys. Um, but also that they were the most likely to kind of go out and play with other kids, while the girls from rural and urban areas were less likely to do any of this, mostly because of fear of other children. Um, and the reason they said that, that girls tended to fear other children was because of like the common stereotype of like, your parents tell you don't talk to strangers, and like nowadays there's a lot of issues with like, you know, um, like being taken advantage of, and kids
kidnapping and all these things that are going on, especially as social media is growing. Um, and so that kind of fear plays into the fact that girls don't want to uh, go out and play with other kids. So overall, just the general importance is like, I think a lot of these studies break the stereotypes, um, but some of them do conform. And I think it's just important to recognize like not everyone from a certain area is going to be the same. And just because they're from a certain area doesn't mean they're going to act like everyone else.